don't even start. No, I'm not back. I meant what I said in that last video. I find it extremely unlikely that that video will ever get 10,000 views. And uh, that's okay. And if it does, well, then I'll, I'll come back to what I was doing on this channel. But I felt like I should explain my, <laughs> my reasoning behind all my most recent nonsense because there's a handful of people that care and there's a handful of people that are disappointed and that are bummed out that I just cut and run. Well, I didn't cut and run. Anybody that's been around long enough knows how long I've struggled with this fucking channel and trying to get it off the ground to a point where I can turn it into dog food. I don't even have a thousand subscribers, so I can't even monetize this fucking channel, right? And the monetization of the channel, the only benefit to that is it's supposed to help the alg al algorithm push my channel from what I was told. If once you're monetized, they'll suggest more of your shit out into the interwebs. Because I know YouTube's not going to pay my bills or give me dog food money. That's not what it was ever meant for, right? I never intended to even have commercials or monetize the channel because that's not what it was for. It was for me to utilize this platform as a commercial to push Misfit Island. And for anybody that doesn't know what fucking Misfit Island is, it will be a sanctuary for old pit bulls. Old dogs that are stuck in a fucking shelter somewhere that nobody's going to come scoop up. They want the cute little puppies. And I don't discriminate against old or young, but I'm extremely partial to pit bulls because there's more of them in shelters than any other fucking breed, hands down. And they are the most loving dog than any other breed, hands down. So, the fact is, the youtube -y thing doesn't work for me. Either it's my age, it's my attitude, it's whatever, but it's gotten to the point where I feel foolish. I feel uh, almost to the point of disrespected because I'm wasting my time that would be better spent outside or with the dogs, anywhere but on this fucking gadget making a fucking video because it falls on deaf ears. The numbers speak for themselves. You know, when I go poking around looking at other people that have been in the game a lot shorter and a lot of their material is, to me, a bit boring or, or repetitive and not shit I haven't heard from somebody else, right? Where a lot of my shit that I run my mouth about, good luck trying to find somebody with a similar background, a similar story, a similar personality type, a similar ancestry, fucking this, that, the other fucking thing, a similar old lady that did him the way she did, the da 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 Fuck you. <laughs> Just saying, right? I mean, come on now. I could make Rogan laugh, I guarantee you. I bet you I could make the motherfucker cry all in one podcast. How much you want to bet? Any takers? All I got to do is tell him the fucking stories. He don't know me. But if you put me in a chair in front of that motherfucker and, and we just started chopping it up and I started going from conception. Actually, I got to start with mom's conception. If I'm going to really go there all the way to the present with me and these two dogs and wifey's ashes on the mantle, right? I, I, I guarantee you I can make that motherfucker laugh and cry in the same fucking podcast. And so I know my material strong enough. <laughs> I know my personality is strong enough. I know I don't give a fuck enough, right? I'm not camera shy, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck who's in front of me. You want to conversate? Let's go. But I can't get no one to engage, so... 
I'm not going to waste my time anymore. I'm going to fuck around a little bit on Instagram. See what happens there, right? And if this, if my last video gets to 10,000, I will be back. If not, I'll be back with a different channel at a different time with a different agenda. Once things are up and running, it'll be like, oh, look at us now kind of thing, right? And then maybe once it's all about the doggies and the misfits and it's not about me running my mouth anymore, right? Then maybe the channel will do what it should do, right? So a little explanation as to why ghost, you know, that's also part of my personality. When shit starts to really bother me, door slam, right? Fuck you, I'm out. And the fact of the matter is the, the fucking nut liquor situation, right? That irritant, the invasion of my privacy, the invasion of my physical space, right? Whether it's the neighbor or it's the stalker, I'm broke like that, right? So I get a little fucking fussy, right? That's all genuine shit. Yeah, and every time I hear a car drive by, it catches my attention. As soon as I hear gravel on the tires, I'm on it, right? That fight or flight thing is lit off in me 24-7, 365, and I've learned to accept that. I've learned to adjust to that. And I struggle with keeping it in check sometimes, right? And whether you agree or disagree or understand or don't understand, I really don't give a fuck. Like I said, this channel don't go nowhere. So there's, it's, there's no point for me to continue, right? So that I can entertain a handful of people, a lot of which don't even comment anymore. I mean, I appreciate the love, but it's like, unless I ghost, you motherfuckers don't ever fucking fuck around down there anymore. Why is that? Did you ever get fucked with because of making comments on my channel? Somebody fuck with you misfits? Is that why you guys vape and, and just now you're voyeurs, right? You watch, but you don't participate? I don't know, man. I, I really, I don't know. I mean, for this channel, for the handful of folks that I know that are still out there, you got to admit, there's no engagement down below. Very little. Every once in a while, a kiss on the cheek and a hug, and I love you for that. And I do, and I always will. But I'm just talking about the channel progressing, right? I'm not talking about me being butt sore at anybody for any reason. If anybody ever left one comment and one thumbs up, I'm very grateful, seriously. And if I overreacted and got you wrong and, and fucking got at you because I misunderstood something, check me, right? Johnny, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. Then, I, then I'll feel like an asshole and I'll say sorry because I misread it because I can't fucking read or whatever, right? There's a handful of people that I fucked up with and I'm trying to make amends, including my daughter, including my brother, but there's only so much I can do. Right, just like with YouTube, there's only so much I can do. My broken only allows me to go so far. And then I feel disrespected, right? Just like leaving comments on other channels that get fucked off. Fuck you then. And you're gonna correct me? Sorry, I'm out. Fuck that, I don't play. No, uh-uh, peace. And if that's how it is, <laughs> and I gotta, I'm not even going to say that because, once again, I'll be labeled. I don't know. Like I said, maybe that's part of the reason I don't do well on YouTube because half the people that watch me think I'm some fucking prejudice cracker because you fucking don't know me. And then once again, I feel disrespected. My wife was half black. She denied her blackness probably because she was a trick baby. Probably. I don't know. She's dead now. I didn't find out she was half black until after she was dead when her mother insisted on paying for the cremation, Kathleen, who's as black as the ace of spades, who Sonny said was her roommate. What? Can you handle my truth? I doubt it. My kid can't, right? I'm the white devil. Go hang out with your Black Lives Matter and go break windows, little girl. 30 some fucking years old and you still ain't got the fucking maturity to have a conversation with your old man. You can't see behind the fucking tattoos. You don't remember the, anyway, you yeah. know, whatever.
So like I said, when it comes to YouTube, I just don't see the point, right? And if there was a reason to change my, my feelings about it, I'd be all over it. But once again, you know, you, 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 you miss me? Go watch some old shit. There's tons of it. Have you seen all fucking 2,600 videos? <laughs> I'm just saying. And I'm not talking about a fucking stalker who binge watched fucking 20 videos in a day. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so there you go in a nutshell. I'm, uh, I'm uh, over it right? Unless there's a reason not to be, I'll be back. You know, if that, if, if that video got 10,000 views, the story right behind baby mama, Sonny and all that shit, if that little tiny condensed version got to 10,000 views, that tells me somebody's listening and then I'd be glad to keep talking. You feel me? So I'm all ears. My phone number's all over the fucking place. And I check my videos. I'll stay plugged in. I'll make comments on other channels. I don't see any point in fucking storytelling anymore. Right? How many times I got to tell the same fucking story? You want to hear about Willie? I don't think so. Just saying. Even my kid couldn't rebut that story. Could you? Yeah, all right. <laughs> a little, a little uh, surly this morning, you feel me? Maybe a little too much coffee. Mm. All right, so who knows when I'll be back, if I'll be back on this channel. But if I'm not, the ones that still follow, you'll know where to find me. Like I said, just look for the broken toys and you'll find the kid. In the meantime... Love the ones that love you back. Do your best with the rest. Don't let the kids hear my crazy shit and put fear in their heart. Let them grow up pure, right? As they should be, pure as the driven snow, just with love and support, right? And while you're doing all that, love the ones that love you back and do your best with the rest. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day. Peace.